So here we got my people TV here on Fitbully TV. We're gonna measure her her noggin. She's got a, a whopper head. Go ahead and show them what this looks like. How much is it? It's about 22 inches. It's about a, an honest 22. And this thing is tight around it. So, guy reaches out, people reach out and they say, hey, get down, mama. <laughs> Let's show you what she looks like up here. They say, hey, I want a dog. Oh, my dog doesn't look like your dogs. They don't have the muscle, they don't have this, this, and that. How things are assembled matter. Think about it. You got to put a race car together so that when it's hitting 120 going around a curve, it doesn't boom, boom, it doesn't roll over. Then if it does roll over, you got to put the barrel cages in so somebody don't get crushed and die. And that still happens. See what I'm saying? So when you're breeding a dog and you're putting together hopefully something very magical, well, look at the assembly. Look at the stop. Look at where the, the, the jawline is. Look at where the forehead, you know, from here to here, how that looks. Look at the eye set. Look at the feet. Look at the shoulder arrangement and assembly. Look at the rear. Make sure those feet are turned in. Look at the breathability. The two to three finger snoot. I told you guys I like a three finger snoot because in my experience it allows a dog to breed better. And because we breed for performance, it is imperative that the dog functions for one but also doesn't have too many health issues Maya is a dog that has over five problems that i don't like so the goal is to breed her down to potentially three problems so if we got three problems to work with we can get her down to two maybe one and keep building from there the number one thing that i don't necessarily care for about her are epigenetics aka how she thinks how she is because that's one of the things that definitely gets passed on character wise and she unfortunately doesn't meet my standard of intelligence, but she's not a dumb dog. So let's say, let's tighten up on her intelligence. Let's give her some better health, <laughs> some better breathability. And she's not struggling right now, but Maya struggles even driving through the car. So if you watch the other episode, she's just riding the car, wheezing <sighs> for no reason. It's like, you didn't do anything. We picked you up and put you in here. You know, you literally, all you have to do is be a dog and chill but she's a gorgeous dog she took on a lot of recessive traits so with the recession maya with the recessive traits come some of the recessive problems come, come some of the recessive problems and some of the things were we'll just say not congenital they were conditional so even her easty westy she didn't pass that on to her kids which means okay that wasn't something that was in her that was something based on her conditions, AKA the cage that they had her in growing up. It made her feet easy westy. <laughs> and then again, she's not the brightest dog. She will eat anything. And that puts the dogs at risk because now you got to run the risk of Pike syndrome. And Pike's is no fun because now you got to get stuff cut out the dog's stomach every so often. And that's two to $6,000. So again, when comparing dogs and looking at genetics, literally make sure you talk to a breeder who focuses on quality and integrity you see what i'm saying quality and integrity of the breed not just breeding for color size or how it looks she's a good looking dog she doesn't throw the size she doesn't throw that with her dogs the size came from the male so we'll see in this particular leading litter if it works i'm gonna spit <clears throat> how her and hot shot align uh, my bad how her and eco line up and what she was able to give the dogs outside of her not being so bright <laughs> <laughs> Cha Cha's back there a little fussy right now. She's the only one in. She spent a lot of time outdoors earlier. It's kind of cold out. So, I'm going to do more detailed videos of the things that I don't like. I won't say don't like, but don't prefer when it comes to Maya and things that we want to work out to make sure that Maya gets better. So, stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. And as always, like, subscribe, share, and thank you for watching.